the start of a new week. It's time to go trucking, so it's time to go have a quick shave. Gonna go a little bit old school, a little bit new school with this one, so. Good morning, West Chevy enthusiasts and newbies. Welcome to the rabbit hole with Cal Shaves. Douglas Smythe of Phoenix Shaving recently came out with a new scent, Diver Down. This is in his CK6 formula, vegan based. This is an homage to Seaforth Spiced. It came out in about the 1930s. Great scent on this. At the time, this would have been uh, a competitor for uh, Old Spice. So we're gonna give that a try. I also recently got this, and the lighting in here does not pick up just how gorgeous this new brush is from Phoenix Shaving. It's a 24 millimeter synthetic um, hybrid. Uh, and it is loosely based on the Erkstein B200, Erkstein 200, B200. And it's also loosely an homage to Autumn with those beautiful colors. I know the lighting here does not pick it up. Plus it's hotter than hell in here, so it's fogging up a little bit. Now for the new school part. I recently went on to Top of the Chain um, website which is a Canadian shave supply. And I saw that they had this. It's very cool looking, something that I don't really have. Anything like this? It's the box it came with, very economical. I think about 35 Canadian, 35 bucks. And this is the Goodfellas Smile Gladio Open Comb. And according to my notes here, we have a satin finish, die cast, Zamic head. Also a satin aluminum handle. The handle is kind of in the style of steampunk and motorcycle, kind of a hybrid crossover. Very cool. I have used this razor just last week for a quick shave when I went trucking. It's quite light. It's probably a little bit head heavy. Yeah, it's quite head heavy. You can see where that is. Uh, what do we got on this? We have a 95 or 3.7 inch handle and a weight of 60 grams or 2.1 ounces. We're going to put a fresh box cut in here. We're going to get our lather made up off camera. We don't need to see that in real time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys the first pass in real time. We're going to multi-speed the second and third pass because we don't need to see that in real time unless there's something exemplary that stands out. You're just going to get cranked with rock music and uh yeah we'll talk about it afterwards so we'll be right back thanks hey guys we're back got our lather built up now what i'll tell you is that when i was building this up i just kept adding water and it kept taking it now unless i really loaded overloaded that brush too much it just kept taking the water no problem at all oh by the way Doug also, Doug is a friend of mine and he also sent me this shirt in with this set as well. So he is a friend of mine and thank you for the shirt. This is awesome, love it. I don't think I've worn a baseball style shirt since I was a kid. So we're gonna talk a little bit more about the Gladio. I just put a brush, a fresh Voss Cod in there. So it's loaded and ready to go. It is intended to be quite aggressive. It's intended to be uh, for about three or four days growth, which I have. Uh, on a different side note, I was doing some grooming the other day and I switched out the blade from my Mercur Future a Voss Cod and uh, slipped. So yeah, it sucks. Anyway, we're gonna get this going. Wet the face, get our first pass done in real time. This brush is solid. It's got a really great weight to it. Uh, what is it? 3.88 ounces. 55 millimeter loft. Super, super soft, of course. I will say I love the scent of this soap. Although, in all honesty, it's not my girlfriend's favorite. When I used it the other day, I put on the aftershave the other day. It wasn't her favorite. 
She loves the Elfin and the Atmatic or Atmotic. I'm just painting it on today. I'm not gonna, I've already built it up plenty, so I'm just gonna paint it on. I will list that notes in the edits. And uh, it feels like there's a little bit of menthol in there too. Feel the tingling on my face, so I think there must be a little bit of menthol in there. So first pass with the green. Very smooth, bit of blade feel, which I like. And I finally got it in my head after what, two or three years of wet shaving. Don't cheap out on blades. Throw the damn thing after two or three uses. Um, I love boss cods. Um, I stretch them for about four or five uses sometimes and by then they kind of cause irritation. So for what I pay for these, friggin'. I can appreciate if you're using a more expensive blade, but still, they're pennies a blade. Don't need to stretch them out. So first pass with that. Mowed a fair bit down. Oh, side note guys. I know different guys in different forms have asked what people are using for their blade banks. What do you do? Where do you dispose of your old blades? And I know that in the old style homes they had a medicine cabinet with a blade slot in the back. Now I've done construction, C and D work, grunt work when I was younger or fit. Don't do that. Please don't throw them back there. Some kid is gonna be in there cleaning and doing grunt construction work and slice himself all the shit. So what I did a few years ago is I just went to the pharmacy and asked for a pill bottle. Sharps container is what? You know, a quart, a liter size? Jeez, that's more blades than you'll ever need. I just got a pill bottle, actually this is bigger than what I actually wanted. Took up my pocket knife, an X-Acto knife, just kind of slid into it. And someday I'll just properly dispose of those. So, just what I use. So, anyway, gonna re-wet, lather, pass number two in multi-speed. So that's number two done. We're gonna get re-wet, uh, uh, re re-lather for number three against the gray, or yeah, against the gray. Our three passes done. Good we were there. That's BBS. Like damn near BBS. Like I said this is the uh, worse, the uh, thicker, heavier side. A little bit strange. A little bit hard for me to get BBS on. Yeah, that's damn near BBS. And for me, in my opinion, PAA. Like I said, Doug is a friend of mine but I call it, you know, I can be polite, but I'd also call it as I see it. 
I find the slickness of his products just A1. I've got the original formula and the CK6. And uh, his products were all vegan. But uh, yeah, that's got lots of slickness. And like I said, enough lather in that bowl for easily another two, three passes, easily. So anyway, we're gonna pause, clean this out, and then we'll come right back. So stay put, we'll be back. Hey guys, we're back. Got it cleaned out. And yeah, that's just really, really nice. Um, yeah, for about a $30, $35 Canadian, Canadian dollar razor. Anyway, I'm taking my new favorite PAA Allen Block Dry Dock, run it onto the water. This will tell me if I, any abrasions. It'll burn like a, depending on how bad. A bit of burn on my neck. A little bit on my upper lip, not surprised. I could feel that when I did it. So we just pat that dry. Then we put it back in the dry dock. Just to let it air out, keep it from dissipating. Just like that. Rubber band, because alum is slippery as hell. So you don't drop it, because it will shatter like glass. Done it before. But really impressed with that. Soap up the nose. So, give it a quick rinse off, apply the aftershave, and then we're gonna keep talking about things. I will blow dry out my goatee after, because it gets all curly if I don't. The matching diver down after shave, believe alcohol based. Oh, love the scent of this. Definitely feel menthol in that too. And right now, given how even in New Brunswick, Canada. It is muggy as hell outdoors and probably in the high 20s still. It's that time of year where you can go from frost warnings one night to really high temperatures the next night, the next day. So, whew, a lot of mental on that, getting to the ice. So, anyway, it's gonna wrap this one up. What do I think? For 30, 35 hours Canadian, and I will list some of the sites I did find this at. Top of the chain at it, there were so much other sites. But, good fellas, smile, the Gladio, open comb, I believe they also have a close comb version, and check my notes again. Uh, Satin finish, Die Tech, Zamic head. This is made in Italy, by the way, or they taught the company is Italian. And it has got a satin aluminum handle, 3.7 inch handle or 95 millimeters, 60 grams or 2.1 ounces. So, like I said, kind of steampunk motorcycle. Um, head heavy, but not uncomfortably so at all. So the way I hold it, just let it do its work, right? It'll just it practically shaves itself. Really impressed with that. Of course, the new scent, Diver Down, based on Seaforth Spice from the, I believe it came out around the 1930s. CK6 formula, awesome performer, awesome scent. Doug is converting me. I typically go for like food type scents, um, you know, that sort of stuff. And this classic stuff is just wonderful. And also his new brush, which the lighting here does not do justice. The Amber Aerolite 24 millimeter hybrid synthetic knot. Uh, 55, 55, yeah, 55 millimeter loft and 3.88 ounces or 110 grams. Uh, probably an homage to the fall with that amber color and probably uh, based on the much smaller Erkstein B200. Kind of a rare vintage razor. 
So that is gonna wrap me up for today. I've got to get ready to go trucking. So I guess just a couple of other quick things. I know I've been slow getting videos done lately. Things have just got kind of haywire again. Um, I gotta go for an eye doctor appointment for follow for my LASIK on Friday, so another short week. Um, just a small thing for you guys too, if anyone cares to listen. Um, without getting into it too much, we're in a strange time. I think I've talked about this in other videos. Politics are rammed down our throat, this COVID thing. And we get it all day, every single day in our lives. And when I come into my shave den or I'm in the shave forms or I go out to have a cigar and I'm into the cigar forms and all that, for me, that is, a, that is my getaway. That's my escape from those divisive issues. So, you know, this is, this is my Zen place. You know, if I'm having a wet shave or I'm having a cigar and a whiskey, that's my Zen time. That's one place I don't want politics or the Rona to invade. So guys, please just treat each other with decency. You know, make this a fun time. Make it your Zen spot too. Leave the politics outside the den, outside your cigar, you know, outside your cigar smoking. There's plenty of time for that crap elsewhere. You don't need to have it in here too. So anyway, uh, yeah, it's time for me to go trucking. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe. Please hit that notifications button. Uh, also, please check out a new uh, segment I have called Big Rig Ramblings. I'm actually be posting an update hopefully in a few days on there. A few uh, kind of things I'm very happy about to post. So, anyway, you guys have yourselves an awesome week. Be good to each other. We'll see you again in a few days. Bye-bye.